Hi, and welcome back to the workbench. So one of the problems that I have with 3D prints sometimes is that they don't grip properly on whatever it is I'm trying to hold on to. These are actually for a phone. Normally, the phone would sit like this in there and get gripped by those. But as you can see, when there's nothing on there, it just kind of slides pretty freely on there. When I've got something on, uh, it slides a little less and roughing it up doesn't hurt either. You can see with this part, it's a little rough on there and it's sprayed over. What I've used to spray over it is the Flexi Dip from Rust-Oleum. And I'll show you that right now. So it's a useful trick if you want to add some grip to a surface that would normally be smooth PETG. And that works okay on PETG, which is another nice thing. They don't always grip all that well and the, the surface coatings don't always stick very well to there. So. Here we go. Normally, in order to set this up, I just use some blue painter's tape, or you can probably use whatever painter's tape you have. Tape off the area that you need to paint, or in this case, coat with Flexi Dip on the PLA, or PETG in this case. And we'll just coat the whole thing. Let's see, get the back side there too. This just neatens up the job a little bit so you don't end up with paint, or well, in this case, plastic everywhere on your workpiece. It's nice to have a bit of a finer edge on it. Well, I'm not sure how well this is going to show up anyway, because it's black on black, so that should be okay as far as the paint goes, which is nice. It's a little bit easier than some of the other colors where it would show up like a sore thumb, although it looked okay on the red. The black overspray on the red part looked all right. There we go. Only the area we want to paint is exposed. Now, let me get a quick worksheet so I don't get crap all over the bench and all over everything else on it. One moment. Now, if you're short on workspace, the back of a cardboard shipping box works just fine. And it'll save you a lot of uh, spray going all over the place. In this case, I'm giving it a bit of a gloopy coating because I want it to coat quite a bit. I don't really care about the surface texture all that much. I'm not going for a smooth surface texture. What I'd like is for it to just have enough grip so that it'll grip the phone on the sides when I put it in there and clamp it down on it. This should be just fine. I might need to give it a couple more coats, but I'll see how it comes out. That's pretty much it though. So this works really well with PETG. As you can see from these, the ones I did previously, these were done about a year two years ago, and they sat in the sun in the car for uh, an entire summer, maybe two summers worth of time, and they didn't actually peel off at all. It's still quite well bonded. So the Rust-Oleum Flex Dip actually works really well with PETG. It seems to coat and adhere just fine and hold up to the temperatures. Hopefully that quick post-processing tip for PETG helps you out. If it does, please subscribe down below and give us a thumbs up. Thanks. We'll see you next time.